did not. It's one of these things where you go into it and you're like, this isn't going to be scary. This isn't real. And then halfway through it, you're like, what is happening to me? This is this is chilling. <laughs> oh, man. Chilling tales now haunt a popular Chicago trail. Just in time for Halloween, you can hear ghost stories on Chicago's northwest side. <laughs> As Sally Schulze found out, these are not made up stories. If you dare go for a ride or stroll along the Bloomingdale Trail, be prepared for goosebumps that have nothing to do with the breeze. Lots of goose. No, no, it's chilly like a, up my spine. Up my spine. That spine tingling reaction, courtesy of Ghost on the Bloomingdale Trail, a free self guided tour with 15 spooky stops where you scan a QR code, then hear a ghost story. I say they're real ghost stories in the sense that people say, This happened to me. This is my experience. Koya Paz from Free Street Theater and DePaul, plus Ben Helfand from the Friends of the Bloomingdale Trail, were just two on a big team transforming this raised trail into a hair raising trail. We listened to one creepy tale. And I immediately know that this is, this used to be a funeral home. In a really sketchy funeral home, the kind that would like buy and sell bodies that weren't claimed. And so I just loved all of the layers that sort of unfolded as this person was like, something is very weird in my house and trying to find out what was going on. All of these stories happened in Chicago, with many of them right near the Bloomingdale Trail. They're not like necessarily ghost stories you'd, you'd hear on TV with a lot of gore. Uh, it's, it's like you're hanging out with someone in their, in, their, in their living room and they're telling you a very personal story. And while strolling and listening to the stories, the goal is to explore feelings beyond fear. What I love about ghost stories is that they really help us grapple with how we feel about death and how we feel about each other and how we feel about our own lives. And if the Bloomingdale Trail unleashes your own haunted memories, they're already collecting more ghost stories for next year. In Humboldt Park, Sally Schulze, Fox 32, Chicago.